All right, this is the initial composition. The uh, cowboy will have his uh, guitar resting on his leg. I'll have to arrange his body a little bit different. Uh, but this is initially what I'm thinking of. Uh, her arms are no longer behind her, but I'm going to be repositioning those as I work on her. But the first thing I'm going to do is work on him, and I've got to figure out how I can work on him separate from the log. <sighs> and uh, so I can get a little more detail into him. Or just leave him where he's at. I gotta figure all this out and I'll be right back. Time to play with some clay. Alright, the key to this whole thing is making it so I can work on him separate from the log, but still have his foot at the right angle into the log. And so that's why I'm going to this extent. Uh, I think that'll work. have to take it away. Okay. I know this seems like a lot of to do just to get at the uh, angle of the uh, foot right, but believe me, I think it's well worth doing. I'm using this angled attachment. So that I can connect this to the board he's connected to so that when I get ready to reattach him to the log I can do it without any trouble trouble you have to be a bit of an engineer when you're sculpting Um, now I'm going to take and uh, put my turntable here so I can work on him separate from uh, the log. Oh, by the way, if you haven't noticed already, I've painted the log to match the color of the clay. Uh, did that for two reasons. This bark was shedding and this kind of uh, seals it so it doesn't shed and uh, I'm going to sculpt her on the log I won't have to detach her to work on her so I'm going to figure out a way of attaching her more permanently but I'll do that uh, in a few minutes here all right, I've got her arranged on the uh, stand here, and uh, I'm going to anchor her leg to this screw. 
And that's the bottom of her foot right there. And the bottom of her foot there. So her toe will be sticking up in the air a little bit. Thought I'd go ahead and get her arranged before I get started on him. Probably not going to be able to do much on him. I've only got an hour left before I have to call it quits. I want to have her sort of leaning on this arm here. So I'm going to raise her heart hand a little bit. I'm going to anchor her hand on the uh, log. Oop by screwing it down to the log. Still got to figure out how I'm going to arrange your head. <sighs> the hand with the uh, flowers in it will be this hand here. That's going to have to do it for now. I'm sorry I haven't got much more but it took quite a bit of uh, designing and trying to figure out how to do things and I think I got it figured out pretty good here. Um, when I get him sculpted and I put him back with the tree and I won't do that until I'm done with her. Um, but I will fit it to make sure it works out after I get done sculpting him. And I may have to bend him a little bit to, uh, have him, uh, match the tree, but, uh, that's fine. I think, uh, well, let's see what happens tomorrow. Try to get as much done as I can. I'm liking her position on that log. That took a little bit of thinking, a little bit of, uh, maneuvering but I like it so that's going to be it for today and we'll pick this up uh, tomorrow one day at a time all right good night everybody if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel it really would help me also check out the link below this video it will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.